Growing a perennial pasture is a big expense. This tool is designed to identify the current condition of your pasture and what is the best intervention approach for your pasture's persistence and performance. We're going to run you through a method to rapidly assess the condition of your pastures to see if they are good or need attention. This method is called Pasture Paramedic and is designed for the medium and high rainfall zones of Southern Australia. Pasture Paramedic consists of an assessment tool, recording booklet, a pen and a technical manual. The Pasture Paramedic tool involves two steps. The first is assessing the pasture condition. The second step uses an assessment score to decide how best to manage the pasture in the future. Step one in Pasture Paramedic can be done in late winter, early spring, and late summer and early autumn. The green side is for assessments in the growing season when the perennial grasses have responded to rainfall and the clovers and weeds have germinated. At this time of year, you have a good idea of the pasture you're working with. Three key indicators are used to assess the condition of a pasture and each indicator is given a score. We call these indicators critical assessment factors. The third critical assessment factor is a type of dominant weeds. In pasture paramedic, these have been categorized as category A, which have grazing value, category B, which are less palatable, and category C, which have no grazing value or have effects on animal health. The yellow side is for assessments between late summer and early autumn before the autumn break. This is a good time to determine which perennial grasses have survived over summer and how ground cover has been managed. In this assessment, the three critical factors are percentage of ground cover, amount of dry material covering the ground, and the number of live perennial grasses. Start with critical assessment factor one. Observe and record this score and move around the tool to the second critical assessment. This factor involves raking your fingers across the ground and collecting the loose material in your hand. Observe and record the score and repeat for critical assessment factor three. This involves a pinch and pull test. Once all three observations are made, add the scores together and repeat at another location. The pasture paramedic tool should be used to take a minimum of 10 pasture observations across similar areas within a paddock. Where there are major changes in soil type or slope, more than one set of 10 observations may be necessary. With the scores added together and averaged, we can then move to step two. This involves using the pasture's total assessment score to decide what actions to take. These scores relate to three decision points. One, maintain current management. Two, consider manipulation to improve the pasture. Or three, consider re-sowing. For example, an assessment in late summer, early autumn that has a score greater than 11 would suggest that there is no need to treat and you can maintain current management. If the assessment score indicates a manipulation or re-sowing, then the Pasture Paramedic Technical Manual contains information you need to consider to come up with a treatment or re-sowing plan. We hope this video has helped you to understand how to use Pasture Paramedic in assessing and in guiding you towards productive and persistent pastures.